Well, I found a uh, Xbox Kinect uh, on one of the Goodwill's uh, outlet stores. So it cost me very little. And luckily it came with a USB adapter and power supply so I can connect it to a computer. And I also installed the SK NECT software, the demo version, and did a scan of myself. That's me, um, my profile. I, 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 as I uh, scan myself, turning myself around with a um, on my on my um, desk chair, and using the um, Kinect um, camera, I created a 3D model of uh, the upper part of my body. And I'm going to create a rendered uh, SDL file out of it. Um, the demo version of the software uh, is limited to 5,000 polygons. So um, all the small details will not be observed in the final uh, SDL file. And the um, the resulting um, object as viewed on the slicer 3D printer software looks obviously with a lot less detail since the polygon count is limited to 5,000 on the uh, free version. And this is the result of printing myself <laughs> using PLA. I never thought I would be an action figure so this is really cool. This is me, actually. I never thought I would have a 3D scanner at home, but luckily I was, you know, scavenging random stuff in one of the Goodwood outlets uh, up in Indianapolis. And this is a good uh, way to reuse a Xbox Kinect. And this is the same file, but with color added. So if I couldn't uh, paint myself. This is how I will look on a 3D model. Pretty neat, huh? It's awesome what you can do with a Kinect uh, 3D scanner um, setup. So, thank you guys for watching.